NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Matt DiLoretto. Oh, that is such an awesome story. I love it. It really is. Brings back memories of that childhood for sure. Yeah. And he mentioned being kind. Matt, I have to say, this weather is it's not, not being so kind. kind. <laughs> yeah, especially to those ski resorts <laughs> and snowmobilers. It's really just a rough go out there. At least we've got a little bit of cold air and a little bit of snow coming in on the backside here. Here's our roof camera in South Burlington. You can see some icy, slushy parking lots there. The wind is blowing and the snow is coming down at a light to moderate clip. It's 21 degrees with a north wind sustained at 20 miles per hour. That's bringing our windshield down to six degrees right now. So quite a drastic change from the record highs we saw earlier this week. You can see on Storm Tracker, not a whole lot of moisture with this uh, system here. Just some back end snow. It's sort of light to moderate in nature from Burlington up through the Northeast Kingdom. Just starting to come, an end, come to an end over northern New York as well. Still raining though in the upper valley where temperatures are in the 40s, but you can really see this cold air just draining down the Route 7 corridor, slowly pushing off to the south and east. That will eventually make it to the upper valley in the next hour or two. So do expect maybe a little bit of sleet and snow to end, but no accumulation. Out in northern New York, we're mostly dry, especially west of Plattsburgh, up toward the St. Lawrence Valley, just overcast with maybe a few lingering flurries through the rest of the afternoon. So the snow and ice comes to an end in the next few hours for everybody. Then it's very cold tonight. Many of us fall into the single digits. A quick warm up, though, expected on Saturday. We're back in the mid 30s Saturday and then a mild holiday weekend, 40s likely both Sunday and Monday. So let's take you through Futurecast and show you what to expect for the rest of today with this storm system. Notice it's quickly out of here by 3.30. We're just starting to see the back edge pull out of the upper valley. Maybe some sleet and snow mixing in with the rain in southwest New Hampshire as well before it all pulls away quickly overnight. So we got clear skies for the most part tonight and then a mix of sun and clouds for your Saturday. Not too bad of a day after that cold start. And then the rest of the weekend's looking pretty fantastic other than maybe a few showers there on President's Day. The pick of the weekend probably is going to be Sunday. Even though there will be more clouds, temperatures will be up into the middle 40s here, at least in the Champlain Valley. And then President's Day itself, very similar to Sunday, overcast with maybe a few showers coming in late in the afternoon. So as far as the pattern next week goes, it looks like after this mild spell, for the most part, it's going to stay on the colder side, which is what we should expect for February. We're sort of on this boundary line between some very cold air up in Canada and very warm air down in the southern part of the United States. And notice how there's a very sharp boundary up into the Ohio Valley between those two air masses. I think that for the most part, we stay on the cold side. Well, if you're down into New York City in the mid-Atlantic, you certainly could see some surges of warmth. But good news for those ski resorts, snowmobilers, any uh, winter sport out there. It looks like an overall uh, colder pattern will be taking over next week. So we got a couple mild days to get through before that happens. The snow and ice ends today. It's very cold overnight. We're expecting a low of 10 tonight here in the Champlain Valley. Many locations falling in the single digits. There's your holiday weekend gradually warming up into the 40s. And then it's in the 30s back there on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We could see a little wintry mix before some real cold air gets in here by the end of next week. Highs barely struggling out of the 20s. Surrey.